anyone who wants to go and have a chat with them. Right, there goes Liz. to Graham Orton, who's been here from the get-go. Graham, just a uh, straight introduction to you and welcome, and welcome that beautiful Spitfire. Get those cameras ready, folks, for these two magnificent Spitfires. Um, probably the 
last decade. any of those rickety craft actually get into the sky but there you have it it does actually fly so the blaria that's now in the air is actually a syndicate owned airplane here at Omaha flying the Peyton pole which is actually uh, as I say it's a 1928 design so it's taken a little bit of license to present it in the pioneer category but uh, it's mm. owner and builder Bob Wagner from Wagner Okay, here's our Waco biplanes. So just to put this into perspective, the Waco was never... It's such a fantastic sight to see those brand new training aircraft in line with the iconic shape of the Spitfire there. What's going to happen now is the um, force, and it actually saw active service in that conflict too. So this is one of very, very few Spitfires still airborne that has seen active service in two different theatres of combat. Desperation of the time, I guess. With those two. anyone would like to suggest a name for this engine sound, please let us know. <laughs> it's your turn. And just remember chicken clacker has been taken.
Somali.